Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Ashley, I'm a homeschooling mom with seven kids. On this channel, um, I do videos on homeschooling, on large family life, um, and road trip life, and mom life, etc., etc., etc. Um, So, you will know, if you've watched my channel at all, that I have kids that range from tween to baby. <laughs> Um, so all the way from 12 down to about nine months, um, specifically, let's see, we have 12, nine and a half, um, six, five, um, three, one and a half and nine months. So I will do a videos on a variety of age related topics because I have so many ages. Um, so if you see something, a video pop up that you're like, well, I don't have toddlers anymore, or I don't have a incoming seventh grader, um, do not fret because I have videos of all ages and um, issues with all of them. And so I wanted to do a video on something that I feel like um, is a big deal with toddlers and um, almost toddlers, and that is potty training. So when I was thinking about this, um, because we we're about to go on our um, another road trip for the summer, um, potty training is like nothing there is there is nothing fun about potty training um i take that back i mean it's a stage and all of these stages are so fleeting and come and go and um i try and embrace all stages but as um you know when i had my first kid who is now about to be in seventh grade um potty training was a huge issue. Um, now I'm a lot more lax about it um, because I know that they're not gonna be like in fourth grade and not potty trained. So think about it that way. Now, with that being said, I have had a couple kids who have almost been pre-K age and have been so stubborn that they refused to do anything that I told them to do as far as potty training is concerned. So I want to go through out of, let's see, I have gone through five kids being potty trained. Um, my fifth was potty trained. Um, probably, I guess it was about maybe six, nine months ago. Um, and they have all been different, all of them. Um, with the exception of a couple of them really not wanting to do what I ask of them. But that is why I'm going to list some options for you if you are struggling with this, because it can be a struggle. And if it is especially your first kid, you are going to freak out because you're going to feel like they will never ever be potty trained. And I'm here to tell you that they will be. Let me tell you some things that have helped for me um, as far as potty training is concerned with all my kids. The first, which I tried like consistently, and some of my kids just were not into it, is bribery. There is nothing wrong with that. There might be people that tell you there is something wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that in my eyes. There is nothing wrong with bribery when you are asking them to do something. Um, you know, toys, candy, now don't go extravagant. Like, hey, we will take this trip if you learn to go potty on the potty. No. I'm talking about small toys, um, little rewards here and there. You know, you go potty, each time you go potty, you get an M&M. Each time you go potty, you get a sticker. Um, something very small and manageable. I always try that first um, if I am trying to get them to do something. And if they do it on their own, I am quick to give them a reward as well. Um, I am quick to give them a sticker. I am quick to give them a little piece of candy. I am quick to give them praise that this is a good thing. You should be excited that you are going potty. Um, in activity, a coloring book from the dollar store, take them to the dollar store. You know, if you go and have no accidents within, you know, 
two days, depending on how, how long it's been, you know, a day, two days, a week, we will go and pick something out from the dollar store. Do not underestimate bribery. Sometimes it works. It has worked for my kids, a couple of them. Um, sticker charts. I have a couple that have done very well with sticker charts. And this is not just for potty training either. This is staying in your bed. This is, um, you know, eating your dinner. This is, I mean, a variety of things. Um, sticker charts are great. Let them pick out the sticker chart if you want. They have so many available on Amazon. Let them pick out the stickers. When they fill out the sticker chart, give them something. Or if they fill out a week's worth um, from this for the sticker chart, give them something. However you want to do it is up to you. But rewarding them, um, they will see and they will, it will kind of click. It's not just saying, hey, you need to go to the potty. They're not going to believe you. They're going to say, well, it's more convenient to go in my diaper than go in the potty. Um, you know, letting them know that this is a good thing. This is, you know, something you should be proud of, something you, this is an accomplishment. Um, sticker charts usually work for mine, but not always. Um, I have had one where I have stayed at home pretty much um, for like two days and cleaned up any accidents. And as we've gotten further into the two days, um, we have gotten better and we haven't needed our diapers. Um, that is not as doable for me now as it was when I only had like three or four kids. So, um, and obviously not ideal in a new house either. So that kind of worked. Um, I see those all the time online, um, you know, devote a week or two days or three days or whatever, and your kid will be potty trained. Um, it will, it could happen. I have some stubborn kids though, um, which leads me to my next thing. My stubborn kids only learned to go potty and only chose to go potty when I did not push them. They were old enough to know what they had to do, and they were old enough to know that this is what you should be doing. And pretty much by pre-K, you should, at least by pre-K, you should know how to go to the bathroom on the potty. Um, I have had two, I know for a fact, that once I stopped asking them, they did it on their own. Now, these are my kids that um, have more, want to have more control that is totally fine um, because eventually they will get it. And if you stop pounding them and stop asking them or ask them once, do you need to go potty? Just very casually, do you need to go potty? Um, they say no, okay, let me know when you need to go potty. They have the control over it. Um, keep that in mind. When you are dealing with different personalities in different kids, they will react differently to all of these things. Um, I have had some one or two that have watched their sibling, you know, we're getting, it's bath time. Okay. The older sibling goes potty. Wait, I want to try that. And so that kid sits on the potty and literally that is how they were potty trained. Um, because they just wanted to mimic what the other kid, what their sibling was doing. Um, so look, Hey, such and such is going potty. Do you want to try? And if they say yes, great, go with that. Um, because that is literally how one of my kids learned. Um, and we made it a habit every time before bath, let's sit on the potty, even if we don't go, okay, your brother's sitting on the potty. Now it's your turn to sit on the potty. If you go great, if you don't, whatever, we were still in diapers at that time. So it's not a huge deal, but keep that in mind. If you have older siblings and they want to be like them and they're looking up to them, they might want to do the same thing. Um, finally, Buying character underwear. You guys, this is sometimes a game changer when you are buying character underwear and they get to pick it out or you ask them, what character do you want on your underwear? Um, let them pick it out and they get so excited and buy a few packs because you will need them when you are potty training. Um, and I mean, it's kind of funny, but it's true. When they feel like they have control over these things, they tend to do a lot better because they own it. And they can say, well, I picked out my underwear and I, and I went to the potty on my own and I said when I needed to go to the potty. Um, it's funny how their minds work. And every, like I said, every single child is different. 
Um, if you are potty training also and you are going on a road trip, I will tell you, and I've mentioned this in one of my other videos, I bring along a potty in the car, bus we have. I will link my uh, bus tour. Um, I bring it with me in the car when we go on vacation because that way we don't have to stop. They are used to going on the potty, um, a familiar potty kind of. Um, and I mean, it's just a mini potty, but I bring liners and I use those and um, all my kids can go on it. It's not always comfortable, but all my kids can go on it. And um, that is a big, a big thing to have when you are traveling um, because it makes it so much easier. You don't want to stop in the middle of nowhere and have your three-year-old have to get out and sit on a potty that is just gross. So um, keep that in mind when you are traveling that having a mini potty is um, a very good idea. Also, when my older kids were potty training, I used to have the little potties in the bathroom. Um, I have found that mine do better sitting directly on the big potty with a toilet seat cover, you know, like a um, little toilet seat, like Elmo or something on top. Um, also, it alleviates a lot of cleanup where you don't have to clean up. You flush and you're done. Um, because let's be honest, those little potties are disgusting sometimes. So also keep that in mind. Let them pick out the potty if you want to. Let them pick out the potty also. Do you want this one that flushes? Heck, go all out. Let it. Let them press a button and let it flush. Um, do whatever you need to do. So those are just a variety and I kind of I'm sorry if this video is kind of like every which way because some of these things I am like, I'm not an expert by any means, but because I've gone through this so many times, um, I feel like I know a lot about it. And so helping somebody else who's going through it is like, you know, gold because it's like, I can, t I can tell you where I was you know, 12 years ago when I had my first kid or, you know, almost 10 years ago when I had my second. And as you have more, you learn these things and you get a lot more relaxed. And you, like I said, you know that they will not be in kindergarten and not learn to go on the potty. So if you are going through this, it will be okay. There is an end point. They will learn they will get it. Use one of these things. Try any and all of these things that I've mentioned. Um, I Like I said, I have so many kids with different personalities that usually one of these works um, for one of my kids. So there is always something and I try all of these to see what works for each of them. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, I do videos from, you know, subjects on little you know, little littles to almost teenagers to everywhere in between because that's what I have. So if you have any questions or any videos that requests or anything that you want on any life stage um, for your kids, let me know down below. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.